Abuela Abuela is a story written by Arthur Doris. It would be an appropriate book for pre-K to second graders. This story is about a grandmother and a granddaughter, and the granddaughter starts the story by saying, what if I was as high as the sky or the buildings? And so her and her grandmother go on these adventures, and they see things such as the Statue of Liberty and Manhattan, and they're flying through the sky together. And the story goes between English and Spanish, and the granddaughter will say something in English, and the grandmother or her abuela will reply in Spanish. So it's kind of like a dual book. The lesson from this story that you could use for children would be that everyone has their own backgrounds. And even though it may look and sound different, all of those things come from love. And so just like this granddaughter and her abuela love each other, you and your grandmother love each other as well. So I thought a good um, extension activity from this story would be to share some things that you do with your abuela or grandmother and how that is related to the story that we are reading and then we could share some of those things with the class and compare how everyone in the class even has their own things that they do with their own grandmother and so here are some pictures from the story The next book I chose are, the, are Those Shoes by Mary Beth Boltz. This would be a good book for third to fifth graders because that's when they really start to care about clothing and shoes and who has what. And this story is about a young boy. He is He doesn't have everything that all of his friends or classmates have and there are these shoes that he really wants. And when he goes to talk to his grandmother about it, she tells him we can't go with wants, we have to go with what we need. And so they end up going to the thrift store and they pick out some shoes and he, he's fine with them. And then he gets back to school and he realizes that one of his classmates has shoes that have holes in them. And so the boy has to decide, is he going to keep those cool shoes or is he going to give up his shoes? And he ultimately decides to give up his shoes to the boy that doesn't have any. And so I just feel like this is a really good lesson for children because they can think about how to not, they shouldn't be negatively thinking about people that have less than them because others are going through a lot of things and this would be a good conversation to not judge people based on their appearance or what they wear or what they have and how can we offer help to them instead of judging them. Um, I said that we could discuss a time that you thought negatively of someone else that was less fortunate and how you should have handled that better to be more kind and to be helpful than to judge them based on appearance, clothing, or what they have or don't have. The last book I chose is Susan Last by Jean Willis. This would be a good book for any elementary because it talks about a child with a disability. And I really like this book because throughout the book you have no idea what her disability is. You don't even know that this book is about a disability. It, talk, it talks about she sings and she laughs and she gets angry and she gets happy and she plays with her dad and she plays outside and she plays with her friends. And so the book goes on and on and on and you're just thinking it's just a girl that's able to do all these things and you find out that she's in a wheelchair. But I think it was an important lesson because it didn't matter that she was in a wheelchair. She got to do the same things that we get to do that don't live in a, or don't have to use a wheelchair. And so I think it was important that to teach children that people are not confined by their disabilities. They just have them. And so they might have obstacles that they face, but that we shouldn't define them who they are by whatever disability they have. Um, and so the, uh, the extension I said is that we could discuss how life might be different if we were in a wheelchair. And even though it might change how we approach situations, is that going to change who we are and how our family loves us and how we play with our friends and everything? Or is it just going to be where we have to sit on a long-term basis?